JW Alistar, a king of games, a champion. Today I am opening the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Festival of Friendship set. This thing is beautiful. This is the peak of nerdy figure collecting. This boy right here. This is not the... This uh, used to be a pricey boy. This former pricey boy. Uh, exclusive to Ringside Collectibles, I believe. This lovely boy is the kind of thing that you look at online when you're a kid and you're like, man, if only I'd ever get that. And then when you become some nerdy man-child as an adult, then you get it for yourself when you have a real job. <laughs> uh, it says... Festival of Friendship, the back, right here has the shiny sign, it's obviously right there, right here it says <laughs> the best friends in WWE history, and uh, right here it has a picture of them and kind of, oh, can you see that, it has, uh, talks about the Festival of Friendship right here, this thing comes with a lot, it's super dang cool, so speaking of which, let's open it. Well, I'll open it, and you'll watch me from a screen. Ah, ah, I'm breaking my fingers on this thing. Ah, tape. Tape, I hate it. Tape. Oh, gosh. You slide on out. Gosh. Big boy box. Alrighty. Cool pattern there. We get out ah, something here. Oh, I better be careful with that. Try to. Ah, so many layers of tape here. Here we got the painting, The Creation of Kevin. Ooh, ooh, it's cardboard. I was hoping this would be plastic, but it's cardboard. So I gotta be careful with that. That can get damaged really easy. Yeah, great detail on it though, so looks nice. This thing is so noisy. And have angry neighbors. Oh, please. Oh. It's like embedded in there, like it. Oh yeah, here's the art easel. So I can put the creation of Kevin in there. Oh, that's cool. This thing's actually adjustable. You can actually slide this in. This part doesn't fold in, though. Doesn't look like it. But this part slides in and out, which is cool. I guess get this in there. It just sits like that. Creation. Oh, fuck. Okay. Creation of Kevin. And all its uh, dandy glory. Oh, I accidentally turned on my laptop <laughs> doing that. Ah, jeez. I could open this with just a little bit less noise. That would be fantastic. I don't think that's going to happen. That's an interesting detail I didn't notice. If you look at here, uh, I didn't notice, I didn't realize that until now. Ah. Uh, they have their titles backwards. Kevin Owens was the Universal Champion, and Chris Jericho is U.S. Champion, so they're holding each other's belts here. So that's a, a silly, silly detail. I can get anything out. Just let me get something. Okay, we'll get the... Oh, God. Okay. Here's the giant Festival of Friendship screen. It's all on the back. This is a Canadian maple leaf. And it has a little plastic sleeve holding it together right here. But if I took that off, you could actually break this. And you could take, let's say, uh, Hasbro Marty Jannetty and slam his head through it uh, like they did in the segment. This is pretty dang cool. Oof. Okay. That slides out. Got that U.S. title belt. Looks really nice. Good detail on it. Looks way nicer than the old uh, uh, Jack's uh, Jack's Pacific uh, belts they had when I was 
a youngin. These actually have the little snaps in the back. So it actually functions. I'm just going to work tomorrow. This is a thumb ring. Get out, Kevin Owens. Alright, comes with two microphones. New era WB logo on it. Ooh, wait a minute. Did I bend this? No, I didn't. Okay. There's a good old KO, Kevin Owens. Yeah. There you go. All well, is. Beardy, beardy, bear glory. You can spread eagle. It's got his tattoos. Looks sassy as per usual. And shirt is not removable, but it's not attached either. So it's a nice detail, even though the shirt's not actually removable. It isn't attached either. It's just a really tight... A plastic shirt, it's, its own layer, which is pretty dang dandy. Uh, here is a podium with uh, the statue that uh, Chris Jericho had made of him, which is a minimalist interpretation of two silhouettes curling into an infinity symbol and making out, which makes the segment even more homosexual than it already was, or which I like. Did it. Ooh. All right. Here's the universal belt. It snaps. It looks dandy. Let's see. Does it have? Ah, oh, has a default set, but it's okay. Oh, and I dropped something. There we go. Okay. Here's good old. <laughs> Got the hat messed up. Here's Chris Jericho and his style and blazer and scarf and his. Fedora hat. He's got this thing unbutton. Does not. Okay. This does not unbutton. This is just permanently attached unless you want to rip it and ruin it. And then he just has normal black pants. No real special detail on there. He's super happy. Happy to see his friend. And somewhere there is the list of KO and a pen. However, I appear to have sent it flying, so one momento. Okay. Did you get that out? Oh geez, this feels fragile. This feels fragile. Oh geez. Here, here it is, the list of KO. That's weird. You, you think they would have paper on the clipboard that said Jericho on it, but they don't. It says this KO in the back at least, so. If you ever display this, make sure to have it facing this way. Doesn't look weird. It feels it's it's rubber. I thought it'd be hard plastic. It's kind of rubbery. It feels like an eraser. Feels feels like an eraser. Okay, and then we got the other uh, microphone. And finally, oh, last and probably least, we got the pen to sign the list. Though I think it. Might be a little... Here, could KO even grab it? No, KO, Kevin can't grab it. Hold on, can Chris hold it? Can, can Chris hold the pen? Okay, and Chris can hold the pen, though it is pretty dang giant. Uh, I couldn't really make it any smaller, but... So it just looks like you're, he's holding a giant Sharpie. <laughs> well, there we go. Our boys, the best friends, former best friends. Uh, and uh, the beautiful homoerotic thing that was the festival of friendship.